Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, back to my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. Hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And in this video, we're going to go over some humanity and what we can do with it. We're also going to talk to some NPCs and grab quite a few items. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk to our first NPC. This is Crestfallen. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Hmm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Hmm? What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burg through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burg, within the plague-infested blight town. But I'd die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. There we go. That's all of Crestfallen's dialogue. If we come down here, we can see that there's a lady locked up. This is our firekeeper. She's the one that kindled the bonfire. She actually tends the bonfire up top here and kindles it. That's why we get 10 Estes flasks besides five. I was about to say besides one. No, besides our normal five, we'll get 10 anytime we sit at that bonfire because of her. She doesn't say anything, but we can reinforce our Estes flask here. Let's go further down. We're going to go into the New Londo Ruins just for a few items. If you did get the Master Key, you can open up a door down here. A lot of speedrunners, I'm sure, use that. Go through this doorway. down the stairs 
pick ourselves up a soul of a nameless soldier. Right here. Oh, get a backstab. Sweet. Wasn't aiming for a backstab, but... Whatever works. This poor guy. I like being too close to the edge. It's scary, man. We're going to go down these stairs in just a moment. I just want to show everybody real quick. If you have the master key, you can always open up this door right here. And then on the other side of the door, there's a soul you can pick up real quick. Let's talk to this NPC. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? Mm? What is it? What is it? Have you? Have you? <laughs> oh no. Oh, Don't worry. Don't I've no intention of escape. escape. It's safe here. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out, out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? How about this? I could forge your weapons, weapons. albeit with rather yeah. minimal tools. Minimal. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinheim. So right here, you can modify your equipment, which we won't be able to do for a little bit. We can also reinforce our weapon, reinforce our armor, or repair our equipment. If you, by any chance, were practicing your parrying and whatnot on the hollows back in the Undead Asylum, and maybe your sword is a little more messed up than mine, you can always repair it here. We can also purchase some spells from him because he is from Vinheim. He's got sorceries you can buy. So if you chose to be a sorcerer, you can get... Well, I think you start with a catalyst if you um, are a sorcerer. But you could also buy some sorceries here as well. That's about it for Rickett. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. Let's continue, continue on our journey here. Like I said, I like to kill all these hollows. Mainly because we can use every last soul we can get. Up top here, we'll kill these guys too. Come down here, kill this guy real quick, turn around, have this poor guy. I think he's, this was probably one of his friends or a family member or something. He's crying and we're going to go ahead and steal the item. <laughs> this poor guy's friend, dead friend, he's not going to need it, right? These guys are passive. They won't attack you unless you attack them. So it's kind of messed up that I'm doing this, but eh, whatever. Let's head back up top here. We'll have to take the elevator back up to Firelink Shrine. We didn't do much in New Londo Ruins besides get the transient curses and that stock weapon. It's a good starter weapon if you're trying to go more on a dex build. We're going to go for a quality build, which means we're going to be leveling up strength and dexterity at the same time along with our endurance and our um, 
vitality. We don't need to rest at the bonfire. We will here soon. We'll real quick grab three humanity. Grab some fire bombs as well. We have another NPC to talk to. This is Petrus. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. So just say that you would like to chat and get spells and join his covenant. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Let's go ahead and learn the gesture from him. He gives a shrug. You can learn miracles from this guy as well. The only one I like to use is Homeward. He's got talismans. We're actually going to be able to get this talisman here in a minute. It's not worth buying uh, this talisman. Let's go ahead and talk to him for a second. My companions are Milady and her young knights. She is young, but burdened by an undead mission. We are her defenses to keep her from harm. An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. I love that showing our faith is paying him 400 souls. He's very shady, if you, you can't tell. Very well. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. Very well. Unkindling through. I just wanted to make sure that I got all that dialogue. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and uh, leave Petrus alone for now. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Before we go up these stairs, I want to grab two items. Actually, I think three items, not two items. I'm going to come over here. Come along this ledge. Grab a soul of lost undead. And then right down here is an item. We're going to drop to it. There's going to be a few skeletons that spawn or wake up, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to run from them. There's no sense in fighting them. They're way too strong for us at the moment. So just turn around. Run back up top here. Just keep moving. You want to go up these stairs? Circle around. Grab this item here. And then jump. 
run back to the bonfire and sit at it. When you sit at the bonfire, it will respawn all the enemies back to their position. So those skeletons will be asleep uh, once again. They're not going to be chasing us. So we don't have to worry about them. Now let's go to the top here where Petrus was. Or, well, is. Just going to go up top here. We have another set of stairs that we're going to go up top of. We're going to pick up Soul of a Lost Undead. We're getting a lot of soul items, which is really good. We're going to need to level up eventually here. Let's open up all these chests. Get some homeward bones. There's the talisman I was telling everybody about we're going to get. And we also get a morning star. Some cracked red-eyed orbs. And then a Lloyd's Talisman. This part is going to be legitimately a mad dash. Don't stop running unless you run out of stamina. Let it refill and then continue running. Do not slow down. So just follow my lead here. Grab this item here. Grab the shield. Keep running. Don't slow down. Just dodge all these skeletons. There's about to be a big boy that wakes up here. Grab the Zweihander. Here's these stupid binoculars that I told everybody not to uh, get. Go ahead and roll. Do not run by him do roll you'll have some iframes to be able to roll out of the way there just keep running to the left here you'll get hung up on those graves and then circle back around we got all the items in the graveyard we do not have to go back there for a good while now so we don't have to worry about the skeletons every now and then they'll kill themselves on accident Run back to the bonfire, sit at it, and then that'll respawn those skeletons back to their position, or reset them back to their position. Real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to pop a humanity. And the reason why is because I want to show everybody that you can turn human. If you come to the bonfire and you sit at it, and you have at least one humanity, you can reverse hollowing. And that will turn you to your human form. Whenever you're in your human form, by the way, you can kindle bonfires. You can only kindle them once for now, which will allow you to have 10 Estus instead of just 5 Estus whenever you rest at that bonfire. So for the moment, whenever you get a humanity, sit at a bonfire, kindle it, and do yourself a favor and have an extra 5 flasks. Over here, we'll have a few NPCs later on into the game. For now, we're going to go up these stairs. We're going to start making our way to the Undead Burg. That's where we're going in the next video. I would practice my parrying. If you're not really that good at it just yet, you can always come over here, practice your parrying before you head to the Undead Burg. Get some hollow warrior armors. He's going to be throwing firebombs at us. And we also have two other enemies that will attack us as soon as we run up here. Get another parry. That was too early. There we go. You can also hold the block button, hold your shield out, 
So if something hits your shield, it'll bounce right off. Then you can get a few hits in. So you don't have to parry. You can hold your heater shield up. And the heater shield is actually a pretty decent shield to start out with. See how he ricochets off? Then you can get a few hits in. Right here we're going to jump across. Be very careful. This is a spot that a lot of people die at. Just because it's so narrow right here. And this is what I'm talking about as well. Like Coming over here and having that auto wall recovery. A lot of people die because of that. Get ourselves a ring of sacrifice. So a ring of sacrifice is very interesting. When you put this on, you will not lose any souls if you die. What I like to do, though, with the Ring of Sacrifice, and we're going to jump back across here. But what I like to do with the Ring of Sacrifice is if I die and I lose all my souls, I'll put that on and then try to do a run back to my souls. And if you still die while running to your souls, they'll still be on the ground there instead of disappearing. Let's go up here and grab this item. It's a soul of a lost undead. Let's kill this rat. We get another soul of a lost undead. Get off me, rat! Oh my good lord. There we go. <laughs> it's off us now. Right here, before we go any further, this is going towards the undead berg. We're not going to do that in this video. So we're going to stop right here, and then I'll see everybody in the next video. Before we do, I would like to tell everybody once again, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.